Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of HVEC System Design Tutorial with the channel of the World of Building Design. In this tutorial, we would like to review a uh, very high level, the variable air volume system. Um, uh, in the air distribution system, there is a method where, um, where it is possible to uh, supply the air at multiple and variable volumes uh, to control the temperature and the and the heating or cooling load. So as you can see in this schematic, we are still focusing on one single air handling unit, which has a supply fan on the bottom, as you can see, and the return fan. So the, the configuration of the air volume system is such that you have terminal units or VAV boxes or variable air volume boxes, as you can see shown uh, by these rectangles. Uh, so this uh, variable air volume terminal unit uh, determine the the volume of air to get into the rooms and as you can see um, so this this volume of air can change uh, based on the room cooling or heating demand depending on the modes of operation so the air at a variable volume gets into the room and then comes back out through the return grill and it goes to this entire air plenum and then eventually gets into the return dot system. So, as you can see, we have three air terminal units dedicated to three different rooms, and this can continue on and on depending on how many rooms you have, how many uh, VAV terminal units you would like to dedicate to that room. Um, and the idea is also from the from the energy efficiency standpoint, uh, you would like to regulate. Uh, your fan uh, capacity proportional to air demand in all of these spaces. So that's a, that's another topic about the control and how the supply fan uh, regulates itself to proportionally provide the air to different spaces depending on how much air is demanded on a variety of the rooms and, and spaces. So looking at this high level schematic, we want to look at the psychrometric chart and, and see how this is uh, demonstrated on the psychrometric chart in terms of the air uh, condition and um, properties of the air and how that's changing in the psychrometric chart. So the, the room temperature is uh, Basically, every of these terminal units have their own thermostat in the room and based on the set point, the air volume changes to regulate the temperature in that room. And the air that come out of the room is eventually mixed up uh, and gets back to the return fan. And portion of that is exhausted out, as you can see on the top left hand side, and a major portion of that air return is coming back to the return plenum and mixes with the outdoor air and now comes back to the heating or cooling cold coil for conditioning or uh, treatment and before it's distributed to the supply fan back into the rooms. So that's very high level um, a schematic and it's showing how the um, VAV system and uh, let's not to forget to say this is a simple type of VAV system or terminal unit there is no reheating or any other um, process involved. Uh, so this is uh, only a simple uh, variable air volume uh, air distribution. So we have uh, three rooms here and uh, on the psychrometric chart, as you can see, every of these rooms have uh, their temperature um, depending on the set point and what the room condition is. So it can be potentially plugged in different points, as you can see. And, and the humidity level also in every of these rooms are different, depending on the activities, depending on the uh, humidity gain from the air stream. And as you can see, every of these um, you know, points, R1 all the way to R4, um, staying within a different uh, humidity ratio curve, say for R1 very closer to 60% relative humidity, where the R4 is very close to uh, the curve for 40% relative humidity. So that's basically the range or the band of 
humidity, uh, re relative humidity difference between these different four, um, you know, four um, conditions. And then eventually we have the return air uh, that is going into the cooling coil and we get rid of the humidity uh, uh, you know, or water content in the air and that's why you have the drop in the humidity ratio or rejection of the latent heat. Uh, as you can see, if we come down vertical, or basically if you go to the right hand side under humidity ratio um, um, scale on the right hand side, you would see that the humidity ratio is, uh, is determined based on the pound of water per pound of air. This is an imperial uh, you know, psychrometric chart and uh, you see that the metric um, you know, uh, metric uh, unit is also showing up here, kilogram of water per kilogram of air. So that's basically the, 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 the mass of water that is in the mass, unit mass of air. So if you come down, you see that you're rejecting the humidity uh, from this point on to, to the point where we reject the heat from the uh, air stream to the cooling coil. And then this passes through the supply fan, gains some more heat, and then the air is distributed to the, to the rooms where it gains um, the heat and the cycle is continuous. So basically um, the, the method is kind of similar to uh, the single zone psychrometric chart uh, or single zone heating system. Uh, the only difference is that the rooms might have different uh, return air condition in terms of the humidity ratio and their temperature and coming back based on different heat gain. Uh, and then uh, the mixture is needed to be treated back through the cycle. Uh, so we're going to discuss about the VAV system with the other configuration and other components and uh, what is um, uh, standard in the industry uh, in the next tutorial and uh, so thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel of the world of building design please go ahead and subscribe press the like button if you like this type of tutorial if you have any specific questions or you would like the material email me directly and I will make sure that you get uh, some of this data as part of this tutorial thank you very much for watching